How do you overcome the fear of judicial intervention and respond to a standard quality? Oh, okay. All right. Well, um, yeah, I mean, I can understand why there'd be a fear of judicial intervention because that's kind of the one major unknown when you go into a moot, isn't it? I think yeah. this question was asked from a mooting perspective because obviously you read the problem, you prepare for it, you prepare your skeleton argument, prepare your submissions, and you know what you're going to be saying. Um, but when that question comes, that's the one time when you've got to go off the cuff and go off piste a little bit. And that's where the fear can come in because it's a fear of the unknown. Yep. So how do you overcome that? Well, prepare. So firstly, uh, and I may have said this before on the podcast, but think about your case. Think about the strengths in your opponent's case and the weaknesses in your case. So critically, you want to look for any major case law that really goes against you or really supports your opponent's argument. Um, and also within the fact pattern, you know, you, you probably do this generally with any fact pattern, it's sort of a good fact, bad fact analysis. Look at what the bad facts are um, and that may form some uh, questions by way of judicial intervention. So think about those in advance and then you can start preparing what your answer may be. Mm -hmm. So in relation to any case law that goes against you, think about ways that you can distinguish the case law. So uh, can you say that it doesn't, fit quite squarely with the fact pattern in your case and therefore distinguish it that way. Maybe look for a dissenting judgment or some over to dicta within the uh, case itself. Um, and that might be a way that you can um, effectively deal deal with um, that case that goes against you. And then how do you answer to a good quality, to a high quality? Well, use the same rules that you would with any other form of submissions advocacy. So speaking slowly, maintaining eye contact. Um, th these are all key ways for you to build rapport with the judge and therefore be persuasive. Definitely. A and ultimately, don't feel the need to rush into an answer. So, you know, there's a temptation. As soon as the judge finishes the question, you feel that you need to jump in right away and start answering. But then halfway through your answer, you think, ah, hang on, I would have been better saying so feel free to take a second or two to pause, to think, try and formulate an answer in your head. And if you need some time to have a think or you don't even understand the question, ask the judge to rephrase. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. Yeah. Throw out some filler sentences while you're thinking, my Lord, I'm grateful. I would address this as follows. And in your head, you're quickly putting together the Absolutely. answer. <laughs> Absolutely. That's the way that that's done. 